Hello everybody and happy Tuesday. I believe it's Tuesday. I'm sorry I did not get a video out yesterday. I was a little bit swamped with some things I was doing so unfortunately I didn't get this out. But here's something I did want to sort of go in on a little bit more specifically about when I talked about what we should do now in 2021 and how it's not really these people that we're fighting. I mean you can see the principalities and powers that the Bible talks about played out on people and that's why some people make the choices they do. That's why some people believe what they believe. But basically this is what it says. Ephesians 6 12 is what I was talking about. And it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So since we're not battling against flesh and blood, like Nancy Pelosi is not who I'm supposed to be battling per se, right? <clears throat> there is a power behind her. There is, um, you know, rulers of the darkness that is per behind all of anything, anybody in power. Like it doesn't matter. It not even it doesn't even have to be Nancy Pelosi. It can be whatever guy you thought should have, I thought should have been in there. We thought should have been in there. They're going to have a influence that is dark because of where they are all right so we're not supposed to be going after people we're supposed to be going after spiritual wickedness or the powers and principalities behind what's really going on the devil will use people as a shield every day all the time he'll use kids he'll use people who think they're actually doing well he'll do all that stuff he will use your love for something and make it evil. <laughs> He's very good at that. Um, <clears throat> so this is why I don't particularly go out and talk about, well, this one person is evil. We all are born with a sin nature, a nature that is selfish. And we have two choices. We either fight it or we give into it. And that's how I understand things. So... That being said, that's why what we need to do as Christians is pray for our leaders, just like it says to do. That's why I don't go after a particular person because just going after the person is not really going to solve the problem. It's They are only a piece on the chessboard. They're not the one moving the pieces. That's the one you have to worry about. Just like we as Christians are God's pieces that he moves to do whatever it is he needs us to do. Not only was listed in the Bible, but whatever it is he specifically tells you to do, uh, the devil has his own. And so the biggest thing that we can do is pray for those people. I, th I think the chess analogy I use is not good, but essentially that's what's going on. Like people are being influenced, they're being moved by one power or the other. And whoever you choose to listen to is what's going to move you the most. So that's why it says principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness, and against spiritual wickedness. Spiritual wickedness exists on both sides of the aisle. It's not just on one. You have Republicans who are for, you know, abortion all the way up until the baby pops out. You have those. You have Republicans who are for, you know, gun control, which although is not particularly a biblical stance, it is one that you, that we found that we, when we founded this country, decided was something that would not be infringed, that like, it's not supposed to be, you're not supposed to stop us from owning guns at all. So this is what I mean. So when I say pray for them, that is not a meaningless thing. It is a, one of the most powerful things that you can do. Pray for them, vote for the right thing, get the right, the good word out there, which is the gospel and start changing your area. Just start small for the better. I think my next video is going to be one responding to an atheist video, but I consistently how do I say this? I consistently find atheist videos just sort of boring now because they don't really have 
the, the guys that I'm finding anyway don't really have that much to say. It's conjecture. It's they don't understand the Bible, which they don't. They can't completely, but they, it looks like they don't even try to do any research. So I'm not really sure if I should say anything. You guys let me know if you want to see that, and I'll do it. But as a lot of the atheist stuff I watch is very can very simply. You can just sit there and think about it for five minutes and see where they're wrong. So, and you don't even have to be a Christian to do it. You just have to understand what Christianity is. So there's some other ones on here. Uh that talk about principalities and powers, but Ephesians 6, 12 is mainly what I'm talking about. We are not in a battle with other people. We're in a battle with the devil. And as long as we think we're in a battle with other people, we're not, we're, our focus is wrong. We're in the battle with the devil. So the way that you fight the devil is through prayer, fasting and prayer, coming together as a congregation, you know, not, um, forsaking the gathering together of ourselves, which, um, coronavirus, a lot of people, it was illegal for them to do. So that's against, you know, our religious rights. A lot of people are fighting for their religious rights right now in order to gather. Um, we need to be encouraging each other constantly all the time. We need to be, you know, talking with people who have the wrong ideas about stuff it's another reason why I don't really want to do a response, atheist response video, because I'm not really talking to them. I'm just talking to you and you already know. <laughs> but like I said, if you guys want me to, I will. Um, so just keep that in mind. There's a bigger thing going on here. And no matter who is in the White House, no matter who's our representatives, no matter any of that stuff, Christians don't look at the world and go, okay, well now we're screwed. It's like, okay, well, it might be a little tougher to do what we need to do, but we can still do it. Why? Because the power that's behind us, the power that supports us, is more powerful. So, that's just what I wanted to say today, guys. Excuse me, sorry. And I'm going to pray and see what God wants me to talk about tomorrow. It may still be the atheist thing, it may not be, I'm not sure. But doing these daily, I'm finding it's a little different than actually sitting down and like, okay, I'm going to talk about this and I'm going to get this together and all this. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Remember to pray, read your Bible, give somebody an encouraging word. Um, and just remember that our fight is with the devil. It's not with people. I feel bad for people who go the wrong way because they're going the wrong way and they don't even realize it. They think they're walking down, you know, the streets of justice and they're walking in mud and blood. So anyways, I, uh, it's our job to help them see the road and to get them out of the ditch. So anyways, have a great day guys. And as always, just remember God loves everybody. He wants everybody to be with him. And the only way that we're going to help him do that is by saying what he's done for us, praying for people, being there, being that light in the world. Okay. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.